Hi, this is Eddie from Priority Bicycles. I want to show you how to set up your bike for bikepacking. So the 600X is an adventure bike, and I'm going to take this thing on some adventures, for sure. So I've been bikepacking for a few years, and I've had time to try different setups, try different bikes, and I've found what I like. So one of the most fun things to me about bikepacking and about using a bike to take yourself and your gear to go someplace and stay there or move around or, or camp is getting your setup just right. So I wanna talk you through my setup and what I would use for a hypothetical five-day bikepacking trip. And um, so, you know, usually when I'm setting my bike up, I might do it over the course of a few days or add something here, take it away, and really experiment till it feels right to me and it feels like I have exactly what I'm gonna need. Because bikepacking is a unique thing because it incorporates not only biking, but also camping. And you know, over the course of especially a longer trip, you're gonna need to take care of yourself and your bike and your setup. So you need things to kind of accommodate uh, all of those different factors. So you know, um, another big part about bikepacking in particular is that a lot of the time you're riding on more challenging terrain. So your setup needs to be very, very tight. And what I mean by tight is that things can't fall off and things can't, can't uh, get caught in your spokes and cause you to have a horrible crash, you know, because these things can happen, um, especially if you're mountain biking or you're going on really rocky, ruddy, rooted terrain. So it's important to get things packed tightly, packed away nicely, and uh, so they don't interfere with your riding or the riding experience. Um, and with the emergence of bikepacking in recent years, gear has come along to, to help with that, to help put things away in the right place and utilize the parts of your bike and the spaces within or on your bike uh, in a way where you can pack away that gear really nicely. So I'm gonna go through the things that I use uh, to bring with me on a regular trip and also to put the gear away in the right place on the bike. So I'm gonna start over here with kind of my essential camping gear. And when you're out there at night, you wanna be warm. That's why I've got a good sleeping bag. And this one is important to me because it packs down really small and light, which is gonna be necessary for fitting on the bike. You also need shelter out there. And I use a hammock because a hammock, a camping hammock like this is way better than a tent, I think, because it's a lot lighter, folds up nice and small. And uh, you can also hang it anywhere there's trees or poles. Uh, staying hydrated is really important. So we've got a whole bunch of bottles. Um, I've got some cord and a tarp just in case I need to, you know, cover my bike or cover my gear. Um, I've got a battery pack to charge my phone and charge my GPS. I've got a knife, pliers, and a lighter, hand sanitizer, a first aid kit, and my toiletries, a small folding blanket to stay extra warm if I need to. Um, a little entertainment. Um, and then we've got my toolkit for the bike. So this is, this is a mini ratchet set, my indispensable 174 Hudson multi-tool. Um, replacement inner tube, compressed air if, I'm, if I want a quick fix, and some patches, and a mini pump if I already used my compressed air. <laughs> Um, we've got <clears throat> some really cool stem bags here, which are also known as feed bags. So I'm going to put some bottles and some food in there. Um, a bunch of cages. I've got my GPS computer to track my distance and also give me directions. Uh, I've got my stem bag here for quick access. A rain layer, which is really important. And uh, also some uh, clothing to jump into at the end of the day when I'm ready for camping because changing out of your cycling clothes at night is a nice feeling. And then I've got some really key bags for mounting everything on the bike as well. So I've got my seat bag, I've got my, my front roll and front roll bag, and uh, a frame bag. So let me take you through how we get this on the bike. Let's go through how I set up my bike. I'm gonna start with my frame bag. So this is a partial frame bag. You can also do a full frame bag if you like, but this is kind of cool because it allows you to still use some of the water bottle cage mounts within the front triangle. Uh, this is a bag from Roadrunner, 
which is a cool US based company. They make real high quality stuff. It's my, my gas tank or stem bag. And uh, this is a, was a really nice bag from Revelate until I cut the straps off. But that's because I wanted to make it a direct bolt-on bag. And uh, on the 600X, since we have mounts up here, I'm just gonna bolt it right on. I think a solid mounted bag looks really clean. And something that I found with stem bags in general, um, like this one, is that when they're strapped on, they kind of move around a little bit. And um, I didn't like that because if this moves around a lot, it sort of hits my knees when I'm out of the saddle. So I put a nice big piece of plastic in here with some washers. And so now it mounts really solid and doesn't move around. And uh, it looks really clean. There aren't any straps. These are my stem bags or feed bags. This is where I keep two bottles up front for easy access and store a lot of food. These are made by Maya Petal. I really like them for the colors. Great place to put bars. Uh, you know, you're gonna, if you're riding a lot, you're gonna get really hungry. So if you wanna eat and keep riding, you're gonna have to have, you have to have easy access to your food. So this one has some simple Velcro straps that go kind of around the headset spacers. And then just a clasp that uh, fits around the lower part of the head tube. So right now I'm just expanding that a bit to reach around this massive head tube on this beautiful bike. Good fitment for bags like these is important and adjusting them right, I think is important to me because I don't like it when stuff sways around a lot. This is a Scout front roll bag from Giant. This is one of the first bags I bought and uh, it's definitely a budget bag, but I found that it's perfectly adequate. You can get stuff that sways a little bit less than this if you go higher end. Um, there's a lot of really good options for front roll bags on the market. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this one has proven to be just fine for my needs. Um, I think Revelate, Revelate Designs, that makes this fuel, fuel tank, um, Revelate Designs makes kind of, they're like known as one of the nicest brands for making seat bags, general bike packing bags. Um, they make a lot of different sizes and a lot of different types, which is cool. And um, a big focus for them is kind of anti-sway stuff. So. They're sort of like the gold standard, I think, for, for nice, nice gear uh, for bikepacking. Although um, Ortlieb has really made a big entry into the market as well with some really nice bags. Um, so they're, they're another good one to look at, I think. But there's also a lot of really cool, kind of smaller, uh, more boutique manufacturers out there if you're looking for something handmade. Um, Swift Industries is really cool. And uh, if you ask around, people will probably have pretty good recommendations of someone they know that makes nice stuff too. So I'm just strapping this to the handlebar and to the head tube. In theory. I'm just uh, moving around the location of this back strap back here. I don't want it to interfere too much with the cables. We got a lot going on here at the front of the bike, so kind of finding the right placement for this is key. I'm gonna put my hammock in the front roll bag, and that's because this is one thing that I really wanna keep dry when I'm riding. The front roll bag is waterproof, and it's also something where I don't have a lot of easy access to what's in the front roll bag, so this is perfectly fine for, I'm, I'm not gonna access my hammock until the end of the day, until I'm actually stopped. So. Uh, Seems like a good spot for it. Oh yeah, I might as well talk about my, my hammock, which is definitely one of my favorite pieces of gear. This is a Hennessy hammock, and it's, uh, so it's a camping hammock. What's really cool about it is that it has an integrated bug net, so you can actually zip yourself fully into the hammock and not have to worry about getting bitten by mosquitoes. Always a worry up here in the Northeast in the spring. Um, and so, not only does it have that integrated bug net, but it's also an asymmetrical hammock, which means that you're not stuck in this shape when you're, when you're sleeping in it or lying in it. It's shaped so that if you lie diagonally in the hammock, it's virtually flat. So it's very comfortable to sleep in. I think sometimes I sleep better in one of these hammocks than I do in my bed at home. Um, and it also comes with a rain fly. So it's as good as a tent for keeping you waterproof. Um, sometimes even better actually, because you don't have to sleep on the ground. You're gonna sleep suspended. 
So you don't have to find the perfect piece of ground to lay your, your uh, tent on. You just find a couple of trees, string up, and you're good to go. Rain fly. Hammock. And some stakes. And these just keep the hammock from swinging around a lot if it's windy. And then this is just gonna fit right here in the roll. So next I'm going to install the seat bag. So this is also a giant scout seat bag and also budget item, but has served me really well. Um, similar to the front roll bag, you can find really nice options out there that have a little less sway to them, more storage, and a little bit more kind of storage options around the outside of the bag. Um, this is a really basic one, but certainly does the trick. And uh, this is, this is gonna provide some of the most storage for the bike packing setup. So this is where I'm gonna be putting some more items that I won't need to access that much during the course of the day. So I'm gonna put my sleeping bag in here, uh, my clothing for camping at night, and uh, just some other, other stuff that I won't need to access uh, readily most of the time. So this bag, I find it's best to pack off the bike and then install the whole bag on the bike. So sleeping bag going in there. I'm putting in my camping clothing and um, I'm putting this in a shopping bag because this is stuff that I wanna keep dry. Um, turns out plastic shopping bags have been a best friend on past trips just for keeping stuff dry. So always good to have a couple of spare ones around if you wanna keep stuff uh, dry and clean. Pack that away. Also going in here, just my toiletries and my first aid kit. Hoping not to need those right away anytime soon. Roll that up and close it. I like to get it nice and tight bundle. Not too much extra. So this just Velcros around the seat post. And then it has some additional straps that go through the seat rails. And clip in place. Also like to get this nice and tight. The tighter you can get this on here, the less it's gonna move and the better your bike's gonna ride. If it's swaying around a lot, you probably feel it. One thing about, about bike packing in general is everybody comes up with their own solutions to the problems or to the challenges that are faced uh, of generally carrying stuff. Water is one of your heaviest things to carry. Um, and it's also one of the most challenging because water can be any shape. Um, so, uh, water bottle cages are a great way to do that because you can just move your bottles around to different points. One of, the, uh, one of our solutions to solving the problem of carrying water um, with the 600X is to provide the rider with a multitude of cage mounting options. Um, so I just kind of want to show off a few of those options by mounting a bunch of cages on this bike. Um, there's other solutions out there to carrying water like having a hydration bladder. And that's a cool one because that could fit in a bag, like in a frame bag. Um, or you, know, you could find out some other way to attach it to the bike. Uh, but just having a lot of water bottle cages kind of allows you to have you know, maybe some water with some additives like sugar or you know, salt in it, or maybe some drink mix uh, in one bottle and then water in another one, um, have some booze in another bottle if you want. Um, so you, know, you can kind of mix and match and set things up to your liking. My favorite setup is to have quick accessible water bottles here in the feed bags. Um, and then I have either a hydration bladder with more stuff or kind of a larger storage system um, to kind of have like a water reserve. 
Definitely. You never, yeah, you never want to run out, that's for sure. So we developed a new mounting point on the bike for water bottle cages or other accessories that, that mount using the water bottle cage mount. And we felt like the seat stays were pretty much wasted space on every other bike. So as far as I know, this is the first bike to feature a seat stay mounted, mounted water bottle cage. And we've got that on both sides. I like to keep everything neat and organized. So I have a separate little bag for my tool kit. So all my little tools just packed away in here. And that's gonna go right here in the frame bag for easy access. And I'm gonna include a tube as well. So that's kind of what this whole bag is for, just uh, the mechanical stuff. I'm gonna include uh, a couple of quick camping items in there too. So just my, uh, the knife, lighter, and a headlamp just in case I'm out there and it gets dark. So I can access these quick and easy if I need to. I've got my battery and my GPS going here in the fuel tank for quick access. Very important item here, priority flask, and it's full. You'll have to taste it to tell me what's in it though. Or should I tell them? It's whiskey. And uh, let me see if I can fit this in here. No problem. I also like to hang some stuff off the rear bag for quick access. So I've got some carabiners here. That I can just clip stuff on. Got my hand sanitizer for quick access, always. And the all important campfire cup. You gotta pour this into something. Uh, I'm gonna hang my, my rope off here too. And uh, also my emergency bag, or my, my emergency blanket. It's also gonna hang off the back. And that just leaves the rain layer. And it's always good to have quick access to this. If you get cold, if you want to stop for a second, it's a little cooler out, or if the skies open up and start to rain. So I like to strap that just back here on top. You can also put this in the front roll. I do that sometimes. And then uh, just our emergency tarp as well. We'll put this in the front roll, kind of snug it up in there. And there you are, ready to take a trip. Yeah, so to give you a kind of final rundown of the setup, so, you know, I've got all of my easy access items right here in the front. So if I'm biking for an extended amount of time, you know, and I wanna stay hydrated, I'll have my water here, I'll have my food quickly accessible, and kind of other emergency items right here, you know, my phone and my GPS ready to go. Um, so, you know, we've got these side pockets here for quick access to food, which is gonna be really important, uh, especially, you know, food, hydration, that's what's gonna keep me going on three, four hour ride to get where I need to go. Um, other quick access items, you know, we're gonna have those in the frame bag right here. So that's emergency repair stuff, flat repair kit, pump, uh, you know, just quick to get to if I need to. Um, so we've got other quick access stuff sort of hanging on off the back as well, you know, hand sanitizer, uh, rope if we need, um, rain gear, and everything else is, is really more packed away. So my hammock, uh, my emergency tarp is kind of in here as well. Uh, not quite quick access, you know, so that's gonna stay in there pretty much till the end of the ride, till the end of the day, and when I'm gonna set it up. Similarly with my camp, my campsite clothing is in the seat bag, and my sleeping bag is in the seat bag. So all that stuff is kind of more long-term, packed away till we get to the destination, uh, and then I'm gonna open it up and, and have access to that stuff. So that's my bike packing setup. You know, I might change this, for different temperatures, different rides, different distances, but this is kind of the base. Um, I'm gonna list all of these components, uh, all of my bags and all of my equipment in the description of the video, but I'd also love to hear what your favorite stuff is. You know, we're, 
we ride apart, but we're also kind of in this together. You know, it's a growing community. So, you know, share with me what you like.